Okay, well here we go with video number two. This time I'm going to go into the garden for a bit of inspiration and the lilac is looking very nice at the moment so that's going to be my subject. I haven't bothered to take a photograph, I'm going to go straight in and uh, paint from the actual lilac bushes themselves. I've already sketched very loosely what I want to uh, the picture to look like and my first step is to paint the petals on the uh, lilac and if you look at them closely they are just effectively crosses and I'm putting those on quite randomly in each of the uh, what would you call it florets of uh, lilac and that would form my base for the picture later as I progress I'm going to put a very light wash of the same color along the top of each um, bunch of flowers and I shall use a much deeper and stronger wash along the lower edge to create shadow and that way I shall get some kind of, of form. At the moment it looks rather like rows of crosses. That wasn't intentional, I thought they were going to be random, um, but that doesn't matter. Um, so along the top edge I'm going to start now putting in a very light wash of the exactly the same colour. Uh, doing it quite randomly but thinking all the time about the outline of that particular uh, piece of the flower head. Um, and at the same time while I'm doing that some of those very uh, precise crosses will start to merge and that doesn't matter at all. When I've completed this very light wash I'm going to go on to uh, the underside and put in a stronger wash. Um, again quite randomly but hopefully being aware of um, what the final outcome will be. Now you can see that the, that the shadow side of the flower head is, uh, is coming through um, and th the top part of that is merging with those individual flower heads a little bit um, so that it becomes much less like a line of uh, flower heads. I've started by um, using uh, a deep blue underneath. I'm not quite certain that, that is ideal and I think I'm going to change that and go back to a stronger mix of the original uh, mauve that I was using. It might be useful just at this point to have a look at the flower heads um, and that will give you an idea of the, the kind of shape that I want to uh, create. I'm just deepening in the bottom edge now and in fact as the painting progresses I shall keep on adding more strength and more detail to the outline. Some of that will come when I can move over to putting the leaves in.
right this I'm trying to be careful here just to get this shape and trying to avoid having uh, lines that are too regular the flower head at the top I'm going to, to use a slightly different color and this time instead of using the same method as I've used for the flower heads below I'm just going to put a light wash uh, on the basis that they are further afield and then just that little bit out of focus I'm also taking the opportunity whilst I'm putting this wash on to think about where my leaves are going to overlap and I'm using part of the wash certainly on the right of this this one to negatively shape the part of the outline of a leaf and that will save overlapping later this point I've decided to extend the flower head just a little bit so I'm putting in uh, some more crosses Right at the top, I'm going to put in a further uh, spray of flowers, this time in a, a bl bluer mix because it's further away and everything, as you know, that is further away is just that little bit more blue and it will also help to accentuate the flower heads in the main body of the picture. This part I'm making darker, although it's the top of a flower, that's because uh, with leaves above it, uh, that part of the flower head would be um, in shade, and therefore a deeper colour. These uh, spots that I'm putting at the end of the flower head are buds that have not yet opened. A little bit more just to tease it in. Now, as you can see, um, I'm beginning to get more shape in the flower heads. Um, 
and all the time I'm conscious of the fact that if I'm putting a dark colour against a light colour then that increases the contrast considerably and gives the whole flower head much more shape. just about reaching the point when I can start putting in some leaves but first of all I have to just darken that corner just a little bit Now what I intend to do is put in several leaves which are quite distinct um, and then uh, I shall fill in the background around them. This is a, a paler mix of green and you'll notice that having formed the flower with a fully loaded brush I toss in on one side um, a small amount of uh, raw sienna just to give a slightly different uh, colour to the leaf and then I shall create more shape by putting in a dark uh, touch on one side that's a touch of raw sienna um, but if I now put a darker mix of green down one side, that will just give it much more shape. The green that I'm, that darker green that I'm using is perylene green, which is one of the darkest greens that you can get. Um, and it's ideal for creating you know, the dark edges. What you will notice is that each time I create one of the flower, one of the leaves, I have a fully loaded brush so that I can complete the whole of the leaf in one operation before going back for any other colours that I want to introduce. All of these leaves um, are painted uh, quite freely and easily um, 
I don't bother to draw particularly. Uh, it's just a nice sweep of the brush from one side and then turn it round and a similar sweep from the other side. Right, having uh, put most of the leaves in that I want, uh, it's a question of getting rid of some of the uh, clear white paper. And I'm just using very, very light washes to uh, cover in a little bit. I'm making a start on the background and my intention is to have a very very light wash over the whole of the background. Uh, I've got plenty of water on from the spray. And that's just a very light wash of blue. I don't want any hard edges. I seem to have ended up with a little bit too much water. So with a touch of a, a very light blue wash at the, uh, at the top and I'll put a touch of green in at the bottom. But I don't want to make it very obvious at all. Point. What I want to do is to strengthen uh, some areas um, particularly um, where I can get a little bit of contrast. This makes the, the, the painting just that little bit more vibrant. So I'm going to strengthen the lower part of this um, lilac flower and give the whole thing just that little bit more contrast. I'm conscious of the fact that I also want to merge the, the darkness at the top of the leaf with the underside of the flower uh, so that it doesn't look as if it's just sat on top. But by going along particularly the bottom edge and then just a little bit into the flower, that's strengthening 
the whole of it and giving it a little bit more shape. I'm doing it in a very random way, uh, occasionally creating a petal, um, but essentially just creating shadow. What you'll also notice is that as this progresses, that regimented line of crosses is now beginning to not necessarily disappear, but become less obvious. Uh, some of them have merged with other colors. today's video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it and do stay safe. Thank you.